what motivated the Coal River group to form. About 10 or 11 years ago, two guys got together at their local bar and they were all trying to decide whether or not the river, the Coal River was safe to swim in. We'd all swam in it as kids, but was it safe today? And basically that's how we got started. We, we got a group together and we did water samples, got out in the water to make sure that, that it was safe to swim in. And that's how we, that's how we started. What we've done is, is kind of minimize uh, potential controversy and create uh, an atmosphere of fun and accomplishment. Um, people seem to be most complimentary about our organization because of the, um, the fun they have doing, doing real hard, dirty work. But it's an attitude and it's one we've had from the beginning and it's been very helpful. The most notable uh, thing that distinguishes Coal River Group from other nonprofits is that it's run like a business. Yeah, we have fun and we're, we're all about cleaning up the rivers, but we go about it in a manner that um, is business-like. We have set goals, set vision. Um, we lay out steps to get to each of those. Um, so, you know, we've got a five-year plan and usually within three years we've checked off everything on the list. I think we're going to see with the stream restoration work, uh, a great improvement in uh, paddling opportunities, a great improvement in benthic and fish habitat, and uh, a lot more use of the river by everyone that lives near. We're all about, you know, what can we do as everyday people, as regular citizens? How can we make a difference um, and actually wake up in the morning and, and say, okay, today I'm going to do this. And whatever it is, um, you know, it's, it's a can-do attitude. I just think it's a great river. We've done a lot over the 10 years to bring it back to life and we keep striving to make things better as we go.